Jiswi's wife left in tears. She is fuming after he was denied bail. Jiswi Mhanu has been denied bail after he appeared at the Randburg Magistrates Court this morning. He apparently is said to be a flight risk and that he might interfere with the evidence. The former Ahosi FM radio presenter is accused of inciting violence. Social media users have been up in arms after news of his bail being denied. Jiswi handed himself over to the police on Monday after he claimed police have been threatening him. His lawyer advocate Sticks Mdlidla told the media there was a warrant of his arrest, he surrendered himself at the provincial headquarters, and the investigating officers, two of them, came in and showed us a warrant of arrest. On that strength of the warrant of arrest they took him in custody, he. The judge told the court that Njiswi left Gauteng where he was hiding in a private jet and came to Durban. That is when he handed himself over. Mhanu can only apply for bail on July 28. Users on social media have been defending Njiswi saying his arrest is unlawful as he never instructed anyone to loot. One person who is livid and beside herself is his wife Lindy Mhanu, who was left in tears after the decision was made. The interviewer asked her how does she feel now that her husband has been remanded in custody. Lindy could not even talk as the emotions overcame her but when she regained her strength, she breathed fire. She asked why are people silent when her husband is being treated this way. She said she was not in the mood to talk and say anything about her husband's arrest. Social media users have slammed the government for arresting Jiswi. Jiswi Mhanu is just used as a scapegoat and sh We all know government is trying to convince businesses and so-called international investors that they are doing something about this. My problem with the government is that cabinet members contradict each other on this unrest issue. Jiswi Mhanu and other targeted individuals are clear confirmation that we have entered a dictatorship state. We are in trouble, the WMC proxy is dealing harshly with the opponents. See Yabana Iazalan Kamoni. All signs of a dictatorship state are there, right of movement replaced with lockdown, citizen, Zuma, imprisoned without trial, freedom of expression, Jiswi Mhanu, voicing dissatisfaction against government deemed as inciting violence, military constantly deployed while there's no war.